Hello, I am Dr. Rajita. Today we are going to discuss about the anal triangle. So here we can see perineum showing the anal triangle where all the superficial structures are removed exposing the boundaries and the muscles of anal triangle. So anal triangle is formed on both the sides of internal margins of sacrotuberous ligaments. So the ligaments posteriorly from the sacrum towards the ischial tuberosity, ischial tuberosity would be here. So these ligaments on either side of the sacrum posteriorly are sacrotuberous ligaments. And anteriorly by superior edge of perineal membrane. So this white line indicates the perineal membrane. And also anteriorly by perineal body and inferiorly by coccyx. So anteriorly in the midline by perineal body. And inferiorly by coccyx. So these are the boundaries of anal triangle. The superior roof of the anal triangle is levator ani muscle. Anal canal and anal sphincter muscles are situated in the middle of the anal triangle. So here is the anal opening. Opening of the anal canal which is surrounded by the muscles called as anal sphincter. Lateral to anal sphincter complex on each side is ischiorectal fossa. So here is the cross section showing the anal canal opening. And the fossae which are on the either side of the anal canal is ischioanal fossa or ischiorectal fossa. So the shaded areas are So the main contents of the anal triangle are anal aperture that is the opening of the anal uh, anus and external anal sphincter uh, which is made up of voluntary muscles responsible for the opening and closing of the anus. So the muscles which are around the anal opening forms the anal sphincter. And ischioanal fossa or ischiorectal fossae, they are the spaces located laterally to the anus, which I have shown earlier. The anal aperture is located centrally in the triangle and ischioanal fossa are present on the either side. So you can see the fat and connective tissue in the ischioanal fossa. These fossae contain the fat and connective tissue which allows for the expansion of anal canal during defecation. So it provides the dead space for the anal canal to distend during defecation. And they extend from the skin of the anal region inferiorly to the pelvic diaphragm superiorly. So ischial anal fossa inferiorly is related to the skin. Superiorly it is related to pelvic diaphragm which is formed by levator ani and coccygeus muscle. So here in this image, uh, shows a nerve and also the con uh, contents of anal triangle. So this is the anal opening which is surrounded by the sphincter and uh, perineum is actually divided into urogenital triangle and anal triangle. So the anterior triangle is the urogenital triangle and the posterior triangle is the anal triangle. So the another important anatomical structure within the anal triangle is the pudendal nerve.
which supplies the whole perineum with somatic fibers. Next, we shall discuss about the cutaneous innervation of the anal region is provided by the inferior rectal nerve. And next is the perineal branch of S4. It supplies the skin on the posterior to the anus. So inferior rectal nerve has the root value as S2, S3, S4. And S4 sac uh, sacral segments of uh, spinal cord and it supplies the skin around the anus and also over the ischiorectal fossa. Whereas the perineal branch the root value is from S4. So perineal branches are from S4. It supplies the skin uh, posterior to the anus. So this completes about the anal triangle. Thank you.